Hey guys, this is GameAcow. Welcome to Toho 10 Mountain of Faith. Yes, I have, of course, still got all of my Toho games and whatnot. And um, yeah, this is something we are going to do. Uh, how to go about this? I guess I'm obviously going to do my standard thing of, uh, you know, normal mode stage 2 because for some reason that is just how I always start the LP introductions of stuff. Um, Beyond that, this has been quite a long time in coming, I guess, and it's only really coming just now because of all of the other, like, LP failing stuff, as I kind of mentioned in the... That, uh, that strange upload video of the Toho range, which I kind of still need the artist and whatnot for at the time of recording this. That... but get to the point, will you? <laughs> it's, um... Point is, obviously my laptop died, I cut a lot of... I uh, got a lot of videos lost on that, and so I'm going to do this because I kind of feel like it now. And hopefully I should be able to do well at this. I'm typically not very good at this one, actually, which is so, sort of surprising, but... You know, it's... It's not like I can't clear it, because I can clear it very well, but I can't really clear it with, um... As many... You know, bombs and stuff. I can clear it with a lot of lives intact, but I can't clear it without using as many bombs as I would like to not use, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Not the point, let's just go with shot type stuff here. We've got uh, Reimu having homing type, which is actually not too bad at all, to be honest. And homing is relatively strong in this one, so that's okay. She's got the needles, it's the first introduction to this in the modern format. You know, she's got. Obviously, she's always had the evil ceiling needles from Scarlet Devil and uh, Cherry Blossom, but you know, this is the first one where it is full on forward focus as opposed to a widespread with power sort of thing. And they are actually very, very strong. They're not as strong in this game as they are in the next couple, but they are still, well, the next, all of them from now, but they're still good. And then the ceiling type, Yokai Buster, is pretty useless to be honest. I might show it just now, just. That's can I? No, because I haven't even played the game with that one yet, so I won't be able to do stage two of that. It's not a very good shot type at all. You, um,. You focus and it does a big spread thing, which is okay, but it has like no power whatsoever. And then you, when it's on focus, it's a slightly wide, but again, not really very powerful shot type at all. And it doesn't have the spread of um, the spread of homing, so it's just not good. Then Marissa, Marissa, of course, still has the traditional quote-unquote disadvantages of having higher speed in the hitbox. She has the traditional advantage of having the lower POC and better item collecting in general. But um, yeah, her three shot types, first one, absolutely useless. It's it's okay in principle. The idea is that the shots will, um, the options will trail behind you like Gradius style shots and they will fire stars up the screen. You hold down focus, they lock in place, just kind of like Radius stuff again. The problem is, it's exceptionally weak, even when you have all the stars focused on the opposition, which means the power is at its maximum, but the spread is really tiny. It's so weak. Really, really weak. Marissa B, it's not a bad shot type, but it's not a great one either. The um, the lasers don't ever disappear, which is always nice, and they do of course still pierce, which means it's not quite as powerful as Reimu B, but it's not very wide ranging at all, and because it's not as powerful and piercing's not that important in this game, it's just not a good shot type, really. Piercing was only necessary, in my opinion, in Scarlet Devil. Uh, it's not useless in the other games, but it's far from needed in most of them. It's very good in select parts of UFO, not the point. The other one is my favourite shot type in existence, this is definitely the best shot type in the world. Cold Inferno, it's, it's basically your options are in front of you and they fire continuous um, ice streams a little distance forward. It's quite a short distance, but the beauty of this one is that when you focus, you lock the options in place. We'll of course be seeing that a lot, you know, during the game itself, and it is an exceptionally powerful shot type. Not going to be using the bugged finger this either, so what I am going to use, about 
10 minutes into explaining everything here. Raymu B going into stage 2. Okay, take a quick look at the interface stuff. We have no graze meter in this one, which is really unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes. The other things we've got, the bombs are generic. Every character has, you know, every shot type has that exact same bomb. Although, Reimu ones seem to be a little bit wider spread, I don't know. It's some um, Reimu's ones seem to be larger to me, whatever. Um, the other thing to note is down in the bottom left hand corner, this time we have a faith meter down there. Because this is Mountain of Faith and we are climbing the mountain of, you know, to... It's all God related stuff in this one, so um, the idea of this particular mode, or this particular game, is that um, your point item value is determined by that uh, faith meter down there. It can't, it's like the Phantasmagoria combo bar thing, it constantly decreases when you are, um, constantly decreases when you don't get items or kill stuff, and then when you get items and when you kill things, it increases. Collecting the green items, which are new to this game, will increase the value of that, uh, of the stuff. It depends on what difficulty you're playing on as to how much it increases them by. On hard, which is what I'll be playing it on, of course, it increases it by 8,000, so that's kind of nice. And uh, what else is there? I guess the other thing I can say is that bombing costs you a power in this one. As you can see, there's no bomb meter here, and uh, just skip the text at the moment. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird system. It's only in two of the games, which is kind of thankful because I don't like it overall. But um, it does make this game rather easy in a sense because you have pretty well unlimited bombs. If you use them smartly enough, you shouldn't have any issues there because, you know, bombing costs the power and you've got excess power because your attack strength only increases up to um, 4. Once you get past 4 power, you've got maximum strength, so there's not really any worries in terms of power right there. You know, you can just get away with having a bomb, you know, used and it's all good. The other thing to note is that some of the point items which are dropped by bosses will have a gold uh, thing around them. If what they are, they're usually power items, but if you're already at max power, you'll get the gold point items instead, which are worth their maximum value no matter where you collect them. This means that it doesn't necessarily matter as much during boss fights to get to the POC at the very top of the screen because you're going to get a lot of item value out of the gold ones, you won't get it from the other ones, but, you know, about half of them will be gold point items, so that's fine. Point item value can also get pretty crazy in this game as well, so... Yeah, it's not a bad thing at all. Anyway, I think that is pretty much everything that needs to be explained, and now we are going to get to this demo thing. This is showing you Reimu C here, actually. It's a, um, it's a very weird one. It's not... I don't know quite how to put it. It's like, it doesn't initially look terrible, because it's dealing quite a lot of damage to these guys, and, um... Yokai Buster in itself is not a terrible thing, but it really just doesn't work. You know, in in terms of just what it does, I don't know what it is, it's just, it's not that good. Compared to the other shot types that are in the game, it is just not a good one. But, you know, that's the, that's the major other, I guess, the other major problem. Yeah, great English, whatever. It's the other big problem with this game in general, is that other than uh, Reimu A and B and then Marissa C, all of the shot types are really terrible, and even though out of those, Marissa C takes a lot of expertise to use, and uh, Reimu A is a little bit weak. So yeah, not necessarily an interesting thing, and mouse has come up because my computer decided to try and go to sleep. Whatever, this is Marissa B I guess. But I'm just stalling for time when I've already gone way into explanations and over stuff anyway, so it's kind of pointless to be doing this. This is Game of Cow starting Toho 10, Mountain of Faith, and join me next time when we go into the main game once again. Hopefully going to get a decent enough clear out of this, and yeah, hope to see you there. Take care guys.